So I was messing around in After Effects with a whole bunch of effects. I decided to upload it to YouTube and when I did I realized the color and the quality was completely off from what I originally uploaded it as. Now I know YouTube converts video to make it take up less space on Google servers, but I didn't expect it to do it this much so I decided to do a few tests and what I found was pretty interesting. So basically, if you guys do YouTube, you know that the higher the bitrate, the better your video looks. Well, there is a maximum to the best bitrate that you can get. YouTube has a suggested bitrate for respective resolutions, but they're just suggestions as they say. They're not 100% accurate, but that's what they suggest. So I normally upload videos at 30 megabits per second for 1080p and 144p and sometimes 4k. I don't seem to push it past that but that's the bitrate that I upload at. So basically, I devised a test to test it out, where I did three sets of tests, 24fps, 30fps, and 60fps. I uploaded 243, 60, 480, 720, 1080, 144, and 2160 for every single one of those. 2160, which is 4K, didn't work for all of them, so I think it only showed up in one of the tests properly. So I started off with 24fps, where I uploaded all of these with these bitrates, and then when I downloaded them from YouTube, these are the bit rates that came out. So that was pretty interesting. So that was about a fifth the quality for 4K. I was expecting it to be a lot higher and a lot better, but apparently not. And that was about 25th the quality that I uploaded 1080p video at. Then I went along to the 30fps test. These are what I uploaded at. These are what I got back. And then I went to the 60fps test for only 720 and 1080p, because anything above that and below that do not support 60 frames per second. The same uploaded and downloaded rates. So I'll have a few charts up on screen now. So that was definitely something that I wasn't expecting. So if you guys have capped connections or uncapped, that'll eventually be shaped or slowed down if you use too much bandwidth in one month. You'll be pretty surprised with these values and you should stick a little bit closer to what YouTube suggests. You don't have to go over that. If you do, it's not going to add anything to your video. So that was quite a surprise to me. I thought that uploading at 1080p 30 megabits per second would be absolutely brilliant, but then again, only about 5 to 6 is used for 1080p video. So basically, once I record videos, I'll now be uploading in either 144p or 4k, upscaling from 1080, just so that you guys can enjoy the higher quality, and I'll be able to upload hopefully a little bit faster when I do decide to make videos, which is admittedly not that often. But when I do, I should be able to upload them quicker, which will allow me to, if I can make more videos, upload more videos in a month. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you in one way or another. And that's uh, definitely not something that I expected until I did this test. So share this video with your YouTuber buddies if you know that they create videos that are above the recommended bitrate and they think it looks better. So anyway, my name has been Technobo. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video of whatever I do. Peace.